Okay, so the question, Frankie, was uh, if you wanted me to talk a little bit more about this climate change. <laughs> um, okay. So I've been talking about climate change since about 2006. I've been lecturing all over the world about it. But most of all, it's not just about me being out there talking about it. I've spent um, hundreds of hours listening to the top experts in the world, the top scientists speak to people. But more importantly, I've had dinner with them afterwards where the story shifts a little bit. And then I've also had a scotch after dinner where the story shifts a little bit more. And what I've found from having those different discussions and hearing not what, hear what you publicly hear, what you might hear in the back room, and then what you hear really behind the closed door, is it's actually far worse than you could ever, ever imagined. You've got positive feedback loops that go on top of each other. And when you have those positive feedback loops go on top of each other, it's like being at the top of a hill and we're just slowly pushing these big boulders to the edge of the hill. And once they go over the edge, we can't stop them from rolling down the hill and destroying the village. And right at this point in time, the Great Barrier Reef, that big boulder, we've just nudged it over the edge. No one can stop it. The Great Barrier Reef will actually dissolve in front of our eyes in the next few decades. And that's one of the big reasons I'm here. I'm super sad that the most passionate thing that I've devoted my life to has been destroyed by inaction, by people mm -hmm. just not caring. And a lot of people think that to do action on climate change will mean that you will suffer. You know, somehow something will happen to you. Your prices will go up for electricity or, or they'll take away some of your rights, stuff like that. And it's total BS. And I know that is serious in Cairns because we're already so far along the climate change journey already up here. You don't actually have to do anything or very little up in Cairns to meet the requirements of of a low carbon economy or anything like that because we already get our electricity. Where's the nearest coal power, coal fired power plant here? It's, you know, it's, it's ages away. So, you know, we've already got everything we need up here. Um, I think any action on climate change um, from a progressive candidate like myself would not have any effect on your uh, lifestyle or, or living up here. But in fact, over time, and it will take time because there's always a transition period when we were meant to start this 20 years ago, um, over time, actually, your electricity prices will go down. Uh, a lot of the cost of living of stuff will actually go down as we transition over to an economy that's uh, a little bit better for the environment. And I'll, I'll leave you with this last thing that I've said to a lot of people because I've, I've been yelled at a lot <laughs> for the last 20 years. Um, is that even if you don't um, believe in climate change or anything like that, I'd love to have a long chat to you and try to explain some of the science, but even if you don't believe that, I think we need to make a choice between pollution and no pollution. Yes, yeah, that's right. And that's I'm for no pollution because that's the world I want to live in and that's the world I think uh, our kids want to live in. And I think it's time we moved away from big multinationals making a, a, a bucket load of money um, by destroying our planet and bringing it back to small businesses making money doing the right thing for our planet. Yeah.